Okay. So hi, uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. What's your name? My name is Nena Alvas. Okay, awesome. And what is your like vocal training experience? Um, I started voice lessons when I was like 12, but mm -hmm. that was like musical theater, pop kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then I started classical when I was in high school, like my sophomore, junior year of high school. Like in a choir. Yeah, yeah. stuff like that. Um, and then I went to UC Irvine for my undergrad where I really started doing opera and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I went to the Conservatory of Music in San Francisco where I got my master's in voice. Oh, wow. So that's a lot of experience. Yeah. I guess. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Okay. So, uh, so what do you do professionally outside of like mariachi teaching? I am a voice teacher at a nonprofit. Um, I have students of all ages, like from six years old all the way up to 80. So I synthesize whatever I know to fit whatever my student wants or is gonna sing or prepare. Awesome, so basically like private lessons, vo vocal yeah. coaching, vocal lessons, exactly. awesome. And so you teach mariachi as well, right? Mm -hmm. And describe that, you float around to different schools. Yeah, I'm mostly working with elementary school kids right now. Um, mm -hmm. But I have gone to high school and middle school. Um, basically, we're like teaching artists that just travel to wherever they need us. And then we have a concert like mid-March where we all get together and then we do like the different levels. So like the beginners and then the intermediate and then the advanced. And then we have pieces that we all play together. We have ballet folklorico dancers. It's, mm -hmm. it's like a whole production. Okay, awesome. Yeah, it's fun. So back at home where I'm from, we have uh, some uh, teachers that are a little bit concerned that the mariachi style of singing might conflict with some of the fundamentals of like classical singing. Um, yeah. So could you speak to that a little bit if that's true or if there's some elements of that or what you, how you feel about that? It, I always had the impression that it was kind of operatic in the way that it was delivered already. Mm -hmm. um, but I thought like, oh, it's this like big sound that I have to fabricate, but no. And case in point, I went to that lesson with Perry, the, the voice teacher that they have here. Mm -hmm. um, and I had a lesson with him and I started singing that way where I, I was like, okay, this is the mariachi way to sing, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and he was just like, why why are you singing like that you know why don't you just yeah. use your because he knew about my classical training so he was like why don't you just use what you already know um and i was like oh okay uh, so then and i i started singing it like that um and then he was like yeah that's perfect like you don't have to change anything about how you sing like you know one of the things right is people think that it has to be like super bright or something and it's like no it still can be tall like that choral tall sound it doesn't have to be that it's still supposed to be tall yeah 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 so the fundamentals are essentially the same yeah yeah because it, it just needs to be healthy singing that's all that's the most important thing across the board with like whatever genre it is it just needs to be healthy singing and i like for this kind of genre i don't think you need to manipulate your voice at all like just do what you've been learning do what your choir teacher tells you to do yes <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Nina. Thank you.